Welcome to our group presentation on the Pueblo people and culture. Enjoy! Many older Pueblo people were taught the traditional exercise of waking before sunrise to run, always running toward the sun. Running served as much a religion as a therapy for many. They believed that running in this way connected them to nature, giving them energy and newness of life. Because of this practice, many elderly traditional Pueblos maintained exceptional health. Over the years, with more contemporary changes in society, some practices such as this have been largely lost, leading to more health issues among the Pueblo people. Pueblo beliefs and actions are still guided by the Pueblo core values, which include love, respect, compassion, faith, understanding, spirituality, balance, peace, and empathy. While many Native American tribes were driven and forced from their native lands, the Pueblo were not. The Pueblos maintain a majority of their original occupied lands, which comprise the Four Corners area and many parts of New Mexico. Because of this, they have been able to maintain many traditions and life practices that were a part of Pueblo society long ago. Health and well-being are intrinsically linked to spirituality in Pueblo culture. They believe that well-being and health requires a close connection to the earth and living in harmony with the environment. Some of these practices include use of native plants for healing purposes, aromatherapy, and certain medicine man practices. Today, they frequently will combine their traditional practices with modernized Western medicine for healing. Older and more traditional Pueblo people will be more likely to ask for a medicine man to be present during their health care. When this happens, try to safely incorporate their practices in their care. More contemporary and younger Pueblo people are likely to receive a more modernized Western medicine practice. In accordance with natural practices, Pueblo do not have autopsies performed unless necessary, and those who have passed are not embalmed, and therefore they are buried shortly after, obviously. Pueblos use special ceremonies to aid in healing and overall well-being. For example, Pueblo women will often request the placenta to be saved at birth to hold a sacred ceremony and or ritual to celebrate life. The best way to ensure that culture beliefs are being respected is to simply recognize that there is a culture difference. Doing this can show a willingness to learn and accommodate the practice and beliefs into their care. While the expenses of health care can be a concern for many people, this is not the case for the Pueblo. Tribal health care is funded through the government and therefore free of cost to the Native American populace. When working with Pueblo patients, it is important to consider their communication style. While elderly and more traditional Native Americans are more uncomfortable with direct eye contact, younger and more contemporary individuals have no problems maintaining eye contact during conversations. It is also important to remember when dealing with Pueblo patients that they value silence. Once given information, they need time to process in order to make informed decisions about their health care. The Kachina is a form of religion that is the core holder of many traditional Pueblos. The ancestors of the Kachinas live and communicate with every Pueblo tribe for half of every year. 
Pueblos who practice this religion perform rituals while wearing masks. These masks represent the Kachina's spirits, and they believe it helps to communicate with their spirits. The major two spirits that are praised to are the powerful Earth Father, the Earth Mother, and a god who is believed to control the rain. Traditional Pueblo life was centered around agriculture, hunting, and pottery. Pueblos commonly farmed foods like corn, beans, and squash. The men would hunt deer, antelope, and other small game found in the area, while women would gather fruits, nuts, and herbs. Pueblos were also known for their unique forms of pottery, mosaic jewelry, basket weaving, and even making drums that were used for song and dance to connect themselves with nature and their ancestors. All of this showed honor to their creator for the gifts they had been given. Today, many of those practices remain intact, though many younger generations are assimilating with a more contemporary American lifestyle. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Brought to you by Rachel, Jenny, Abby, Carrie, Tierra. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. That's good to me.